Okay, um, <laughs> you have to excuse me. I am yawning and, um, I'm very tired, so <clears throat> I might yawn during this video. <laughs> this video is for week 34's topic of changing the rules. Um, if you could change any kind of um, transgender legislation, what would it be and why? I do think the requirements that we have in order to change our gender markers sometimes make it impossible for a person to um, transition uh, or transition to the extent that they want to. Um, as we all know, bottom surgery can be just outrageous. Even top surgery for some guys is just it's out of reach. Um, I've known guys that weren't even able to um, maintain their testosterone therapy because uh, it wasn't affordable for them. And I think that's a shame that there's people out there that simply because they don't have any money will never be able to change their gender markers um, and live how they need to. So I think that that really needs to be loosened up as far as the rules on uh, what we have to have done to change our markers. Um, also, I just think that like in the medical community, I think there needs to be a mandatory, maybe not a whole course, but discussion and education on treating transgender patients and not just the medical part, but treating them with respect. Um, I for one can tell you a lot of, for the most part, I don't have a lot in common with hardly any of my patients, but in my opinion, I'm there to help them and to make them better. And so I can't understand people that treat transgender patients badly. I've heard about um, EMT um, workers that pretty much they uh, came upon a scene where a trans woman had maybe been thrown from a vehicle or anyway had ended up in the street or something so um, they uh, pretty much started treating the patient realized the patient was trans and according to I can't even remember where I read this but according to whatever article it was they took their time if you know what I mean they drove their feet they made fun of the person and um, that's just a shame I, I don't know what inside a person would make them think they have a right to treat anybody that way. But I do think some education would go a long way and also putting some um, stricter rules in place uh, in, in health care and in medical buildings, doctor's offices, and that type of thing. Um, anyway, I hope that made sense. Uh, second question, how do you feel about the current state of transgender legislation in your community and what are you doing about it? Um, Cincinnati, which is where I do a lot of my, um, I work there and I do business there and I have friends um, around Cincinnati. They actually do have a uh, ordinance or whatever, a law prohibiting um, discrimination against trans people. So. I am glad about that. I mean, that's 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 a positive thing. Um, also, another smaller city closer to me um, has the same type of uh, law. So there's places around me that are kind of getting the point. However, in the town that I live in now, um, I'm not aware of any laws that protect trans people. So. Unfortunately, I'm not doing anything about it right now because um, I have no one else to help me around here. Um, I don't know of any other trans guys. The community amongst the trans guys here is just really hit and miss. Um, and also, I just I don't know where to start. You know, if I had somebody say, this is your first step, then I would... Um, you know, pursue trying to change the laws and get some protection for trans people that come after us that live here. So, anyway, um, I think that's it, and I hope you enjoy my video, and I'll talk to you later.